Okay, my friends, we're getting somewhere. I got the new fuel line through this hole right there, and it can connect to the carburetor anytime. I'm not worried about that. So now I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol in this tank for a couple of reasons. I want to. It's just got some slime in it. Alcohol works good on slime. Put some alcohol on it. Oh, and we need a gas cap. Nice to have this port, eh? That's all we need. I'm just going to mix the heck out of that. It's going to do two things. Gas cap leaks. What about the other one? There's two. There's the red tank right there. There we go. Nope, still leaking out of the gas tank. Oh, maybe it's not the gas tank. Nope. It's the flange. It's the flange. Dirty dog ya. Yeah. Yeah, it's pouring right out of there. Darn it. Dad rabbit. Yep. But, hey, let's just... All is not lost. We're going to let that dry. Because it's all intact, I could run just a small bead of, of JB weld across there just to see if it seals. Inside the tank, I can actually feel that gasket squished out, hey? Eh? And maybe even tighten these screws up. It's not the end of the world. All right, folks. This is the gas tank off the blue 100cc chainsaw. But anyway, uh, remember when I had some uh, methyl hydrate in here and I was shaking it around? Well, this is proof. Maybe we're going to put you down a little lower. Hang on. You see right there? I'm covering up that where the light is. And you can see along this seam, there's a gap. Right there. And I've gone all the way around the tank. Sunlight. And that is my only gap. It's right there. So that's kind of a hard one. Although I think I know what I'm going to do with my good old JB Weld, right? And then, at the same time, this gas tank, you can get a real good shot of it now. Um, there, that's the corner of it. But it's only on one corner, and that's the corner that get, where the chainsaw gets put down all the time, too. And I don't know if there was some kind of epoxy added to that at one time or not, but it does look like somebody tried to. Excuse me, this light is right in the way here. Um, this looks like somebody tried to do a flux core weld on that. Now I've got that cleaned up really, really well. But I'm going to do the inside first. We're going to do this from both sides. So I'm going to, right now, I'm going to cover the outside. It's not going to be pretty. And if any JB weld escapes, we can grind it off. That'll actually be a good thing. JB weld and stick it in here. And I'm going to mix up some JB weld after I clean up this gap. And we're going to try and get it from the inside and the outside. It Actually, the gasket slipped on this one, eh? You guys are yelling, cut! Cut 
And I'm just going to brace this on here, if, I can, if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can, kind of. Now, the crack is still there, of course. Is it any bigger? No. Blow a little air on that. Cleanliness is everything, right? You gotta get dirty. Okay, so there we are. There, right there. So we can put a little tape on that too. So it doesn't look like it's done. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna mix up the JB Weld. 50-50 mix, black, white. Good, okay. Rubber gloves. And I think that's going to be enough. That's half, right? And what I like to do is get it to stop where it stops to feed itself. And then put the cap back on before we bring the other one out. It's about 50-50. Kind of like auto body filler if you've ever done that. Okay, that goes in the garbage. Okay, here we are. Comes out gray, of course, black and white. And I let it dry overnight. So let's just do this tank first. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go all the way along the top so that it looks like a professional job. You won't even see it when I'm done, right? Now this center part, I'm gonna really squish it in there. Remember, that's where our crack was. And we can do more too, right? I'm going to push that center in and then build it up. Eek! Okay, lost a piece of paper. Okay, that, that should almost work. I want a little bit more of a ridge right where the leak is. You'll never see it. That's going to work. Now let's pull the tape off right now so that we don't have anything stuck. Okay, let's pull this off. Hey, do you think I can pull this off? There. Never see it. I'm not even going to touch that. I'm going to let that dry just like it is. Now, I don't know if I've got enough uh, JB well left over to do this inside corner. Oh, yeah. And I might do the outside right now. Okay, let's, I'm going to do the other side, but we're going to get some more JB Weld out. Gloves are cheap. In fact, these ones are really cheap. This one's not dirty. Chuck that glove in the garbage and we'll just mix, mix up a little bit more. Now, where's that hole? 
You guys can see that hole. Right there. See that? Right there. In the center of the screen. On the left hand side of the screen. Right there. So we're going to take a little bit. And go around there. Good. Now, uh, we can clean up later. Hey, I think I better just leave that. Scrape the screw hole clean. <clears throat> we'll get a little bit of, of uh, solvent and clean that up. Done. All right, my friends. Now I'm taking the blade, the bar, and chain off this uh, chainsaw, and I've got my little what I call a snipe cheater bar. Isn't that cute? Because these were on there tight. I didn't want to use a uh, impact on them. Although I can. There we go. The other one's already loose. I want to find out what the kerf is in this bar. I'm not really all that fond of the bar, although I'm sure it's worth quite a bit of money because it's different. Anything different, eh? There's a couple of things I wanted to check. Husky, husky machines, eh? I wanted to see if the oiling channel goes into the uh, adjustment hole. It doesn't. So I'm going to show you something, and I've known this for a long time. I, I had a, a, my house was on a small three acre lot of trees way back when I was in my 20s. My own house, I built it with my own two hands. But it was all done on debt, so it didn't last long. But I learned a lot. Just clean these grooves out first. This, this has not been used that much, eh? Ah! It's been modified. 
Wi-Fi. Hang on. Okay, so the oil comes out of the machine, goes into one of these two holes, right? And uh, then it travels down the curve of the of the bar. There's something interesting here. Somebody dug this one down a little bit, and I don't know why. Maybe for the adjuster. Yep. Nope. Oh, I see. Yes, for the adjuster. I'm trying to find out if this is a like a Husqvarna bar adapted for home light. It is old. And to me, it almost looks like the two-man... The two-man bar, uh, I've seen pictures only where there's a there's a bracket that the second guy would hold on this end and the two guys would run the saw. This is an old, old bar. We may not use it. All right, my friends, we're still working on the chainsaw. Now this repair for the leaky gas tank, I think is good. And so is the one <clears throat> for the bigger bodied tank, although I can use them in both, in either saw. There's two missing. Let's just see if that makes a difference. Let's just pressure it up with the pressure tester. Okay. Now we watch it. Okay, here we go. Just a really big space, eh? Okay, I'm holding five pounds back with my thumb. And it's holding. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness there we go so that tank's good I tell you if you pressure test everything you'll have much better luck now with this one I've got this is the other side this is the, the, the chainsaw I'm going to rebuild first recondition is probably more the word I'm just going to roll this around on here We'll see what we end up with. Yeah, that certainly isn't going to hurt. Looks a little low in here, huh? Five thousandths. Okay, that's probably going to work. Let's do a few more. There, that's getting a little shinier over here now. Yes, sir, Bob. Now, where's the other half of that? And I think that caulking will make the difference now. 
And I'm going to use the old, old gasket cement from the old days. The, it looks like uh, shellac, eh? I love it. Okay. Okay, this already is sealed. I cannot see light through this corner that I repaired anymore with JB Weld. But I am going to put one more thin layer inside and outside on this repair. And then, uh, as it dries, I am going to uh, take this gasket. This is from the old days, man. And it's still good. I mixed it up the other day. And I'm going to apply it to both sides of this gas tank. Screw it down. Like that. And let it dry. Probably for a couple of days. my finger and we'll feather it in. Thumb and we'll feather it in. There we go. We got her, Cotter. You guessed her, Chester. Now why am I filming this, eh? Because I can. Good. Right on. Love it. See you later. All right, my friends. This is the big moment. The big enchilada. Do you think my theory is going to work here? Oh, yeah, gee, uh, TV roll back into the container. Okay, I got to mix this up. What are we going to use? Um, let's use this ugly old fuller screwdriver from before the war. Which war? We're going to do both surfaces because we're going to pretend there's a gasket in here. Oh. That was silly. Okay, good lesson learned there. I might need another glove, I think. Yeah, it's gonna work good though. That's gonna work. Gonna get technical. All the way around with a nice layer. I'm not worried about spilling on the on this bench. And my old bench is gonna need some sanding. It is 31 years old and I'm starting to get slivers on that. Good. I think we've got a path all the way around there. How long do I wait? Is there a time on here that... I don't think there's a time. Nope. Okay. And I'm just going to nestle it. Like that. Now we need some screws. One there. And one down here. Well, that's down in the, I shouldn't have put that one in there. Let's move over to a...
Good. Okay, now we're just going to put all 15 screws in. Where are we? Can you guys see this right here? This is the tank. It's sitting on a piece of wood. And I'm going to use this little uh, screwdriver to tighten these up now. And I'm going to wipe off the edges. And then we'll tighten these screws down one final go. Good. Hello. Oh, hello, my love. How are you? One moment, please. Oh. How's my dear wife? We're making birthday plans for her. No, I should say, she's making birthday plans for her birthday for us. <laughs> okay, we're back. I am just wiping off the excess gasket sealant with no gasket. <laughs> Am I crazy? Yes! In the end it might even look like a little gasket in there, I don't know. I bet you it doesn't leak once I get her cranked down hard. I think I'm there. Okay, I'm going to go through them all and then I'll come back. 